This episode of Film Riot is brought to you by Domain.com. Today on Film Riot, we punch fools in the face. Welcome to Film Riot, the show that takes a mystery out of the effects and techniques to go to some of your favorite Hollywood films. I'm your host, Ryan Conley, and guess what? Yep, we're once again covering things from losses. Today, we're breaking down this scene. Why, might you ask? Here's why. Hey, Ryan, I'm going to be shooting a fight scene soon. Could you show some good hand-to-hand -hand combat? And this guy. Any tips on shooting fight scenes? And this one. Hey, I'm about to shoot a new short film and was wondering how to shoot, edit, and create a proper fight scene. Thanks. I've heard the call. And I'll answer with great vigor and maybe some enthusiasm and perhaps just a touch of yippy skippiness. Roll out, homie scone. I was so excited to finally do a good old fist fight scene, and for me, off the bat, I didn't want it to be pretty. I didn't want any fancy flippies, flying kicks, or anything too extravagant or impractical. I wanted this to be a tough guy, bare knuckle brawl that felt very real. So I started planning for it, knowing that, and then decided to get my friend Nick Dare involved, who is a trained MMA fighter. This guy. I called him up and he was down to be involved and so I cast him as Josh's fisticuffs opponent. And speaking of casting, before we go any further, I just want to point out how important casting is. In an action scene like the gunfights, you can get away with casting almost anyone since clever editing and camera moves can hide when someone is not so physically controlled. But when it comes to a fight scene like this, you really need people who are really in control of their body's movements. Which sounds really sexy, but I don't mean it sexy. It may sound odd, but a lot of people are not fully in control of their bodies and look ridiculous trying to fake fight so be sure you make the right casting choice this will make or break your fight scene moving on I had the guys over so we could go through the movements and figure out all the different pieces to the fight and one thing that I found out right away which was the simplest way to shoot the fight actually the only good way for me to pull this off was to break the fight into sections which in all our fight had about five sections so we were able to break between each section which helped me make sure I covered each section properly since I was making all the shots up as we went along so we plotted out section one first then when we were happy with that we moved on to section two and so on another must especially while rehearsing are forum guards like these they were about 25 bucks and really saved Josh and Nick's arms since they were constantly striking each other for hours and even with this they both had a lot of bruises so make sure to get these for your actors to make them as comfortable as possible while they're doing this now for a fight scene like this it is a must to rehearse ahead of time without us working out the issues before the shoot it would have been a complete nightmare I also shot some test angles while we fought so I could watch it later and see what issues there were in camera with the fighting and I'm very glad I did I found some things while very real-world accurate looked terrible and weak on camera Camera, so I was able to adjust for that for the actual shoot. But that is how we prepped for the fight. Now we take a quick break and when we come back we'll talk about the actual shooting of this bad boy. Domain.com is owning the competition with cheap domain names and no hassle services. Our Film Riot Army is making Domain.com one of the fastest growing domain registrars in the world. If you're setting up a website to show off pictures of your cat, brag about your filmmaking skills, or do something more business related, Domain.com is the best place to buy a domain name for your new idea. Domain.com's easy checkout process makes it simple to find your domain name and set up your website without the hassle. Domain.com's domain discovery system quickly shows you available names, making it easy to select the domain extension that's right for you. Find a suite.com or get a .co and save that character. One less, one less button for people to push. Already have the domain somewhere else? It's cool. Transfer it to domain.com for only $7.61 and get an extra year free. The guys at domain.com are huge fans of Film Riot and want to hook up all the other film writers. So use the coupon code Film Riot and get 15% off your next domain purchase or transfer. That makes it only $6.47. It's an internal calculator for domain transfers. Don't forget, when you think domain name, think domain.com.
fight scene in two hours. No go. While shooting a fight scene, there are a few things to keep in mind to make your fight as good as it can be. So, since we've been doing tips lately, let's bust out a few tips for shooting a fight. Tip number one, choosing the right angle. A poorly chosen angle will completely kill the effect and show that a punch is not actually connecting. One great technique for a really good punch effect is for your actor to punch past the side of your other actor's face that is closest to the camera. Then zoom in to a long focal length since the more you're zoomed in on your lens, the closer objects will look to each other. I actually used this technique to have Emily punch Josh in the neck for a domain.com ad a few months ago. Intruder! So this can be used for a ton of different hits, not just punches to the face. But just to show you how important angles are, here's a hit from a good angle, and here's that same hit from a poorly chosen angle. Bazami. Tip number two, cutting frames out. For almost every hit I do, I'll cut at least one frame out of when it supposedly hits that impact moment, which helps it feels faster and way more violent. For example, here it is normal. And then I'll take a frame out of the video at this point and now, it's pretty surprising how much this helps and sometimes you can even take it further. There's a few times where I took several frames out and it worked perfectly. So you just have to be careful how far you take it. If the effect is obvious, it'll ruin it. Tip number three, bigger motions than you'd actually have. Meaning in a real fight, you usually wouldn't make huge swings. You would just go for the hit. But in a fast fight scene, a lot of these movements will get watered down and look weak. So experiment with which movements can stay realistic and which need to be emphasized. I personally had them exaggerate almost all of their movements during our fight scene. Tip number four, think creatively and safely. Most people don't realize how even little things are a stunt where someone can get hurt. Take this for instance. It looks simple enough, but Josh definitely could have gotten hurt and on the first go, he kind of did. Nick actually slipped and slammed Josh into the post too hard. Josh was fine, but it could have been a lot worse. So keep in mind when you were plotting out your scene that every little moment where someone falls, gets slammed into something, etc., is a stunt and could be difficult, so plan accordingly. But with some creative thinking, you can do some ruggedly brutal moves very safely. Take this for example. Looks awesome and violent, but was actually super simple and safe to pull off. First, we had Josh run to Nick and Nick grabbed Josh, then we cut. We grabbed a mattress and brought that in, then had Nick finish off the slam by tossing Josh onto the mattress. I shot this at a low angle, so it looked like Josh got a lot of air time. Next, we moved the mattress out of the way and I had Josh lay on the floor. Then I used camera motion and had Nick do motion as though he was slamming Josh to the ground, even though Josh was already on the ground. And once all edited together, your eyes are tricking you to think you just saw Josh get slammed to the floor. But really, he was already just comfortable sipping a martini. I wasn't sipping a martini. No, but you were comfortable. Well, nah, not really, it was still the floor. Mm, news colony. Tip number five, sound. While you're editing the fight scene, you may get pretty discouraged and think that it's not coming out so good, but keep in mind that sound is a huge part of a scene like this. Even with the sounds of the hits in, it will still seem as though there's something missing and that something will probably be a grunt pass. Once again, let's do some example action. Here's a portion without the grunts of the actors. And here it is with the grunts. And it doesn't stop there. The sound of their clothes moving, their shoes on the floor, and so on are all just as important. You expect to hear these sounds, whether you know it or not. So when they're not there, it feels empty and you won't know why. And finally, tip number six, move your camera. This can be a love it or hate it sort of situation. Some people really hate the shaky cam style. Some love it. Personally, I love it. And honestly, it was the only way to shoot this fight scene. Since we only had one night to choreograph the fight and then have Josh and Nick rehearse it that same night, it wasn't as solid as it should be. So the camera shake went a long way to cover up some of the sloppier moments. And I personally find it a lot more engaging when it feels documentary cam for something like this. Again, I realize that shaky cam can be a love it or hate it sort of thing, but for this scene and the other two gunfight scenes, it was a must to the action and I personally love it. Logo. But there you have it, how to film a fight scene, which of course this is my technique. There are many different techniques you can use, but hopefully this will get you started and more comfortable jumping into your first fight scene. Now on Monday, we will be talking about advanced muzzle flashes and next Thursday, we're gonna be getting into more sound, including a lot of sound effects. So look out for that. Also, I've been getting a lot of questions on where we got the Gorilla Filmmaker t-shirt that a few of us have been wearing lately. And this is another shirt designed from my clothing company. I wanted cool filmmaker t 
t-shirts to wear, but I couldn't find anything anywhere. So finally I decided that me and Stark would start designing our own and then we decided to sell them too. So if you like them, jump over to our site right here and get yours. But that's it. I'll see you ladies and gentlemen next time when I join the Federation to go fight giant bugs on a different planet. I don't win. I'm gonna fight him. I'm probably gonna beat him. I don't know. Actually, this is yours. Actually, this is yours. I don't. Which clearly. I don't win. That would not happen. Settle, Nicholas. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>